All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Um, I guess we're looking at today or uh, the, the start of the historical Trump impeachment trial. What have I got to say it? What do I have to say about it? Well, I mean, I, I guess I'm just a common old Joe on the street or somebody just stands by and looks, but you know, this dog and pony show, this circus that takes place right in front of our eyes almost on a daily basis, consuming up time. And it's sad that I have to sit and look at this because I have to be able to report the stuff to you that uh, they don't ever tell you. You know, it's amazing when you think about this so-called so -called justice system we live in. Let me tell you something about this so-called ex the legalized extortion from suited and booted costume uh, characters who presume to have authority over us as a people. Let me tell you what's really going on. First of all, the Constitution of the United States of America, it's in full effect for those who know how to declare their rights. But when you don't know how to declare your rights, you automatically submit to a system that has trumped the Constitution of the United States of America and it's called a system that operates after statutory law. So we're all common law citizens knowing how to speak the common language. But when you get into the statutory side of it where they um, try to force you under duress, coerce you, a um, lot of undue stress, threats, threats with jail times and everything else, uh, that's, that's not um, what the people of America actually believe to be what liberty liberty and freedom is with all that said it's obvious that the house democrats are the ones who are leading the charge concerning the impeachment of donald j trump what i find remarkable and amazing is is that whatever all these things that they allegedly impeached him on is nothing but political but whenever president trump does war crimes the Democrats don't say nothing about it. They're pretty much in lockstep with him. And I'll give you uh, an example. Never in the history before of the United States of America have we ever killed a foreign general without war being declared. Did y'all just hear what I just got finished saying? Nobody declared war. Um, the whole preference of us actually being in Iraq in the first place and we've been there, what, 18 years? It's because of weapons of mass destruction. We're going to get Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein's been dead for a long time now, a very long time. And so now we're killing Iraqi generals um, in a public place. And the only thing we can do is celebrate stuff like that. And nobody says nothing. Now, if anything is a crime, that's a crime right there, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be something that the UN should get in on? NATO should actually be in on? Uh, the world court should be in on this? How is it that these people run carte blanche and able to do things like this, contrary to the Constitution, contrary to, I mean, really, truly, what the hell is going on? That, that's a question that really, truly needs to be asked. What the hell is really going on in this world? It seems like it makes no difference if you took a red pill and your eyes are wide open. You still see the blue pill matrix all around you. You see all the simple deceived souls that's in it too. And it's just utterly amazing. I know one thing, this is definitely not the country, I'm talking about America, that God blesses. There's no way because it goes too contrary to what the Bible says. I know I'm digressing here, but let me go ahead and finish this video real quick. The Senate is not going to impeach Trump. They, they're simply not going to do it. That, that's always in the house, of the power of the house. The Senate can only listen to the evidence that's being presented, and then they'll make a vote on it. And they ain't going to vote against Trump. I'm telling you, that's all there's to it. And so Trump is going to be the first impeachable president to ever get reelected because the House... Um, Democrats who gloat in all of their glory as if they ran a victory lap 
the Democrats is obviously divided, obviously divided. And it's obvious that CNN does not want Bernie Sanders to be the front runner for the Democratic Party. As a matter of fact, they've already ordained, anointed, and appointed Elizabeth Warren. And while I sit here in disgust that everything is taking on about us and everything is going on in this world, I know that whenever you're a man and woman that's a truther, you will always be hated. I don't care what that truth is, whatever truth you represent, as long as it is the truth, you will always be hated. But I'm telling you, right now they're toying around with us and playing mental gymnastics with our souls. Um, and I'm speaking from social, political, economic, to religious perspectives and point of view. It's just sad what, what goes on. And it seems like the older I get, uh, the more that the wool is definitely pulled off my eyes where I can clearly see the deceptions that has gone on and still going on in this world. I mean, it's just you can't miss it. You just simply can't miss it. Unless you're blind in one eye and can't see out the other. And most of you haven't been living long enough to be able to see what I've seen, experience what I've experienced. Um, but I'm telling you, this world is literally turned upside down. Truth has become a lie. Lies become the truth. Error is victory, and victory is defeat. It's just sad. It really is sad. Down is up. Up is down. Uh, north is south. South is north. East is west, and west is east. It's just, I mean, really, that is the world that we live in today, a quasi-world. Anyway, that's my take. There you have it.